Ever wonder how the plastic that surrounds us every day comes into existence? From that convenient water bottle to the keyboard under your fingertips, plastic is an integral part of our daily routine. Yet its origin, its birth in the bowels of a factory remains a mystery to many. It's a material so common, yet its creation, a process so obscure, a paradox indeed. So let's embark on a journey together. Today, we unravel the mystery behind the creation of this ubiquitous material. The journey of plastic begins with its raw ingredients. Let's unravel the mystery of what goes into making this ubiquitous material. Two primary raw materials are at the heart of plastic production, petroleum and natural gas. Petroleum, a thick black liquid buried deep within the Earth's crust, is a complex mixture of hydrocarbons. These hydrocarbons, when processed, can be manipulated to form a variety of substances, including the polymers that make up plastic. Natural gas, on the other hand, is primarily composed of methane. When subjected to heat and pressure, methane can be converted into ethylene, a key component of polyethylene, the most common type of plastic. The basic properties of these raw materials, their versatility and malleability, make them ideal candidates for plastic production. They can be easily transformed into a vast array of products, from water bottles to car parts. With these key ingredients, we are ready to dive into the production process. The plastic production process starts in a place you might not expect, a cracking unit. Now, cracking isn't what you think. It's not about breaking things apart with brute force. No, cracking in the world of plastic production is a much more elegant process, a dance of heat and pressure. You see, plastic begins its life as hydrocarbons, large molecules that are just too big for their britches. Enter the cracking unit, a veritable molecular tailor. Here, heat is applied to these oversized hydrocarbons, breaking them down into smaller, more manageable molecules. But the process doesn't stop there. These newly sized molecules then undergo distillation, a process of separation based on size. Just like Goldilocks, we're looking for the ones that are just right, not too big, not too small, and voila! We have our primary substance, the very essence of what will become plastic. Now that we have our primary substance, it's time to transform it into plastic. Welcome to the polymerization unit where magic happens. You might be wondering what kind of magic. Well, it's the magic of science, where small molecules band together to form long chains, creating a polymer. This process is appropriately called polymerization. Imagine a game of follow the leader, where the leader is a small molecule and the followers are identical molecules. They all line up one after the other to form a long chain. This chain is our polymer and the game is our polymerization process. Of course, it's not as simple as playing a game. The molecules won't just line up on their own. They need a catalyst, a sort of cheerleader, to encourage them to form the chain. This catalyst doesn't participate in the formation itself, but it's essential to get the process started. Now, here's where things get interesting. By changing the type of molecules or the conditions of polymerization, we can create different types of plastics. Think of it as cooking. The type of dish you end up with can be influenced by the ingredients you use and how you prepare them. In the same way, by tweaking the molecules and conditions, we can produce anything from flexible plastic bags to sturdy plastic bottles. And voila, the plastic that we know and use is born. Just remember, while it's fascinating to understand how plastic is made, it's equally important to remember its environmental impact and to use it responsibly. Plastic, the silent partner in our daily lives, has a story of its own. It's a tale of transformation, starting from simple raw materials to the elaborate versatile product we see before us. This journey, as we've seen, is a symphony of science and technology, harmonizing to create something that touches every aspect of our lives. It's a process that's both fascinating and complex, yet so easily overlooked. As consumers, we ought to appreciate the intricate dance of creation that takes place behind the scenes. The production of plastic is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to harness the power of the natural world. It's a reminder of how science and technology continually shape our everyday experiences. Remember, every piece of plastic has a tale to tell, and you now are a part of that tale. If you enjoyed this journey, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such enlightening content. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.